Welcome to our homestead. We just finished a load in our freeze dryer and we need to package those up. Today we are going to talk about tips to help save the food and your oxygen absorbers while packaging them. You don't want to miss this. Let's go. Now that the cycle is over, we need to get the food out of here and packaged quickly. Why? Because it will start to absorb moisture from the air, the surrounding environment, very quickly. Now, depending on what it is, it could absorb it a little faster or a little slower. I've done freeze-dried watermelon before. It's beautiful. It's like cotton candy. But if it's out for more than just a few minutes, it will start to reabsorb moisture very fast. And if we want to successfully store that food for a long period of time, then there can be no moisture in those bags. So getting them in the bags quickly is very important. Also, oxygen absorbers, when exposed to air, degrade very quickly and they're expensive. So getting them in the bags as fast as possible is very important. So this company Wise Dry is pretty cool. Inside this large package, there are many small packages. Each one of those small packages contains a few oxygen absorbers. So once you open the big package, you're not obligated to use the other ones in there. That would be a real pain. Some other ones, some cheaper ones, and I have some over here. As soon as I open up this big package, all of these are exposed to air. So I have to open it up, grab a few really quick, and then seal it back up with our heat sealer. This is a little bit easier. So if you can find these that have smaller packages within a bigger package, I recommend it. Here is the big tip. The bags make a big, big difference. I like these Harvest Right bags. These are the Harvest Right, but there's something missing from them that I wish I had when I got them. And that is the Ziploc feature. This allows you to get the food in there quickly and seal it up. The food is not being exposed to air more than a few seconds while you're filling the bag. Additionally, I can cut open the oxygen absorbers, get them in the bag quickly and seal it up. This small feature on these bags has made the process go way faster. And that's because I'm not fumbling around with those oxygen absorbers. I'll show you what I normally did. So what I would try to do before is cut this open quickly and then take out a few and put them in a bag that already had food in it and that is sitting open. I would fold this over and I would stick it under a jar like that so the air wasn't getting in as much. But my bag is sitting open with food in it. I'm throwing in oxygen absorbers. Now this bag is open and I've got other food sitting around. Then I'm taking this over, heat sealing it, and then taking more out of here, putting them in another bag. Because if I had all my bags open and I'm putting these in all the bags, the last bag I get to is going to not be as good as the first bag. Now I don't have to worry about the oxygen absorbers sitting out or sitting under a jar trying to keep that seal on it. I can quickly now open one of these, drop it in each bag, seal it up again, and then hit the heat sealer after that. If you're thinking about getting one of these Harvest Right freeze dryers, we do have a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link that helps out our family a lot. Now I have one more big tip in sealing these, but I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. First, I'm gonna talk about the oxygen content in each bag. Some people think that they have bad oxygen absorbers, and that's because the bag doesn't crumple down very far after they put them in. Now that could be because they put the improper amount or size of oxygen absorber in each bag, and we're not gonna really cover that today maybe on a future video. The air around us is only 21% oxygen. The rest of it is nitrogen and some other things. So if your bag doesn't completely deflate like you think it should, don't worry. However, keep in mind that you do need to put the proper size oxygen absorbers in there in the proper amount of them. And that'll depend on the size of your bag. Now, a nice added bonus for oxygen absorbers is that they will kill bugs. It doesn't kill the eggs, but it does kill them in the adult and the larval stage. And I'm obviously not worried about that with my newly freeze dried food that I'm taking out right now. But if you are packaging beans or rice purchased from the store and you haven't froze them or heat treated them, oxygen absorbers will help with it. They're actually one of the best ways to kill bugs in prepackaged foods. Let's get these in the bags and I'll show you how fast the process is. So as soon as I remove these from the freeze dryer, time is ticking against me. So 
I need to open these up and get them in there quickly. As a side note, if you've never had beans like this, they're actually really good snacks. My wife puts a tiny bit of olive oil on them, salt and pepper, and they're great, just raw like this. So that took me just a few moments and now I can seal this up and set it off to the side while I am packaging up my other fruit and veg that I just did. And that's a huge plus because I don't have to open these up yet and have them potentially degrade. I can just wait and keep these over at the side. I usually like to do a fruit salad so I'll just combine these all together in a bag. There's some peaches here and apples. I'll just throw them all in there together and call it a fruit salad. I don't individually package things a lot of the times. Now additionally, you can see I have extra room in here. I need to go get another tray and I don't have it out yet. So to help save that food and keep that moisture out, I'm gonna seal it up until I can go get that other tray. Here's a little tip too. If you do not have the sill pads, bananas will stick to these stainless steel trays pretty solidly. So having a metal spatula like this is great. This little fish spatula is super thin and it gets them right up. You can see they're popping right up, but you can see they do stick really, really good. So this is a perfect example of this working in real time. My little one just needed me and I was not able. I had to walk away from the camera. I wasn't able to get the oxygen absorbers in here or get them sealed up. But since I have these Ziploc bags, they are sealed. And my oxygen absorbers are not sitting out. I love these things. Now let's show you that last tip. Now that I have my individual packet of oxygen absorbers out, I'm gonna drop them in my bag. And right as I do that, so I'm gonna cut this open here. I'm gonna drop the appropriate amount in for this side size bag. I'm going to seal it up almost to the edge. And what do I have? Yes, a straw. So super simple. Stick the straw in there and then seal it up the rest of the way. That way, your oxygen absorbers will be doing less work. They will be more viable because they are absorbing less. Now we can seal it up on the heat sealer. But before I do that, we're gonna drop the appropriate amount in the next bag. And then I'm gonna seal this up as well. So I get them all done ahead of time. Now I'm left with some extra ones that are open. But since I've done this quite quickly, I can seal this up. And now these are sitting waiting to heat seal, but I'm not worried about them at all because they have a seal on them already. Although it's not super airtight, this is going to make it airtight. And now that we're done with that, I'm going to place them in our bucket with our gamma seal. And this is not going to prevent anything additional bugs to get into these bags or rodents to get in here. We don't have any rodents here in our house, but it's always good to have some extra protection. If those tips were helpful for you, please let us know in the comment section below and give us a thumbs up. And of course, we will list the Wise Dry Oxygen Absorbers and the Home Sensei bags in the description below also. Another reason why I like these Home Sensei bags is because they are very thick. Thick ones are hard to find, at least for me. These are 7.4 mil on each side. That's the same thickness, I believe, as the Harvest Right. Now go click on this video right here, which is our initial review on the Harvest Right freeze dryer. And this video down here, which explains how we think this is a very affordable solution for preserving food. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.